What's going on, Vault Dwellers? It's Top Ranking Noob, and I'm back at it again with another Fallout video for Fallout 76. And hey, if you guys want to check out some cool Fallout 76 gear, make sure you head on over to U4GM. I'm going to be putting a link down in the description, along with a coupon code that's going to be saving you 5%. So today is January 10th, and Bethesda did another patch for the PC version. Now, this patch hasn't came through to consoles yet. I believe it's coming through sometime next week. And I managed to watch quite a bit of videos talking about the patch, what they fixed, and what they've upgraded as far as balancing goes. Now, I, I try my best not to reiterate a bunch of information that's already been talked about by a hundred other YouTubers. And for that reason, I'm not going to go into all the details of the patch notes and what's been fixed and what's uh, been balanced. But the main thing I was curious about in regards to this patch is what effect does it have on the cap stashes? I didn't see that in any of the other videos, so I figured I would test that out. For those of you that may not recall, uh, last month, early December, they did a patch which really reduced the amount of cap stashes that spawned around the wastelands. I wanted to see if they did something similar to the current grinding spots for these cap stashes. Though as I logged in for the evening to see what kind of effects this patch may have had on them, I was actually surprised to see one of the glitches that's still working. I would have really expected them to patch this given all the other things that they patched with this update. And the one that I'm talking about is actually the Excavator Power Armor glitch. Now yesterday I did a video showing new players how to craft Excavator Power Armor. Here I'm in my set. I like it for the extra carry weight. Right now I got a carry weight of 425. Uh, the reason why it's so high is I have the calibrated Excavator legs. Uh, so that brings me up to an extra 100 on top of the 100 that I'm going to get automatically. Now the glitch that actually occurs is if you log out for the day or even do a server hop, the next time you log in, you're actually going to get an extra 100 pounds of carry weight on top of that. So basically by having a full set of excavator power armor and those calibrated legs, and when you log in wearing this set, you end up with a grand total of 300 extra carry weight. It just seemed to me a little strange that they didn't patch that, especially given the fact that they did patch the fusion core glitch, where anytime you logged in wearing your power armor, your fusion cores would reset to 100%. So that really wasn't what I was logging in to test for this glitch, but it's good to know that it's still there. I have used this glitch on occasion anytime I found myself over encumbered and needed to get back to my camp without just dumping off all the good stuff that I managed to hoard. So despite the fact that that one was working though, the good news is they did manage to squash out the unlimited carry weight glitch. Now if you didn't know that this was still going around, people would run around with 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 pounds worth of junk on them. Now that might sound cool, but the problem was they would actually stall out the servers, which were already fragile enough as it was. There's a difference between having an extra 100 pounds and an extra 20,000 pounds. But I digress. The entire reason why I hopped online was to see if this patch had any effect on the cap stashes. So after I noticed that, I finally got around to doing the cap stash run. So what I did was I tested out the Nuka-Cola plant, I did test out the Poseidon energy plant, and I did test out the Riverside run. The good news is it doesn't seem like they patched any of these cap stashes, so we're still good to go. Now, if you haven't seen these videos, I'll put, I'll put links down in the description for you. But basically, you just run a set route pick up as many cap stashes as you, as you can with the cap collector perk card, and you'll get a bunch of caps. You could log out of the server, log back in, and do the run over and over again. Basically getting an unlimited amount of caps. Of course, that being said, there is still the limit that you can hold of 25,000 caps at one time. Now, I have recently reshot the Poseidon energy plant to include cap stashes, bobbleheads, and magazines, along with some other helpful hints, and it seemed to get a good response. For that reason, I'll be reshooting the Nuka-Cola plant to include those items as well, as well as the Riverside Run, for, so keep an eye out for those. Now, one more thing I tested out was the Watoga Municipal Court Unlimited Stim Pack glitch. Basically, if you go to Yoto uh, Watoga, you're going to get a Mayor for a Day mission which gives you access to this chest. This chest is going to have eight stim packs in it. Now, all you got to do is log out and log back in, and you're going to have uh, access to those eight stim packs again. So once you complete the Mayor for the Day quest line, you can basically just come here and keep collecting uh, stim packs over and over again. Uh, so it, that works even after today's patch. 
All in all though, that's all I had for this video. I just hadn't seen any other YouTuber cover it, so I figured I'd make a quick video and point those things out as far as this patch goes. I hope this video was at least a little bit helpful, and if you thought so, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you all next time. No, I don't want this video to end. I don't want this video to end.